What up, y'all? Welcome to the Vintage Cube. Let's hope these these drafts go better than the previous two that we started with. Um, I actually watched uh, Luis draft on uh, on YouTube the other day, and he went like, I think he went O two or something, one two, something like that. Anyway, the point is, Vintage Cube is hard, man, and things happen. So we're gonna start with channel though, because that's pretty. That's a pretty card. That is a pretty card. Oh, channel into natural order? That's some hot shit right there. They're lining it up for us. They got this green deck on fleek. Is that what that means? Is that what the kids say? You guys know? A sub is a sub. Is a sailor. I was looking for a link uh, for camera lenses that I had. I'm like, I know I bookmarked this, but I couldn't find <clears throat> a folder called camera. I was like, where the hell's my camera folder? Did I not bookmark these things? And then it was under photography instead. And I was just like, you dummy. All right, Woodfall Primus. That's as good a guy as any to get with uh, natural order. 2-1 with the worst failed storm deck this weekend. This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying. You heard with Bird. Also, I've been watching a lot of Parks and Rec recently, so. <clears throat> Unforgiven. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. What's this? It's like hair poof over here on the side happening, like right here. You see this? Just stay down. Stay down with your friends. All right, that's a little better. Terastodon, Sakura, or Signet. I think I like Sakura because it works double duty with the uh, natural order. And we already have Woody Fall Primus. Favorite Parks and Rex character? I think it's either I think it's either Chris Traeger or Ron Swanson. I think. No, it actually might be Fuck, I don't know. I was gonna say it might be April, but then I think April's great because of and her relationship with Andy so I think they're both really good like I think April and Andy is great <clears throat> so I don't know man it's like you're asking me to choose my favorite child I tried to donate to the last time with my cell phone and it wouldn't work I, 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 I forgive you I understand <clears throat> we can get through this. <clears throat> do, 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 So and carry added. I accept you. I choose you. <laughs> Little Sebastian. Ann Perkins is wonderful. Ann Perkins. Oh, wow. Raffellos? Sixth pick Raffellos? This cube is straight up disrespectful. I'm going to take this... I'm going to take this finale, because it's actually pretty decent. We got our fellows, and so we can carry at it. And channel for four green. For the low price of four green, you can get whatever you want. You can get whatever you like. Oh my god. Look at this. Eighth pick crater hoof. That tells you all you need to know about what's happening right now. <coughs> Holy Jesus. See, you, you guys are naming Jeremy Jam and John Ralphio. You guys are naming terrible characters that happen to make the show great. Thank you. Right? Like, Jeremy Jam is not a good character. No one's like, that's my favorite character on Parks and Rec. But they do make the show great. Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> yep, Plow Under seems good here. Yep, the only green card in that pack came back. Terastodon came back. Okay. Well, we're going to take some black cards here, just in case. Snoozlemoo, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. So now we're looking for Black Lotus or Soul Ring, right? Those are the two things we want to hit in our green deck. They are not here. Sub is a sub is a sailor. Emrakul's alright, actually, because we can actually uh, channel him into play. Her into play, rather. Jimmy the Mole. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, Jimothy. Jimulum. Jimulum the Mole. I can go all day. I can do this all day. I think it's actually Emrakul. We don't need non-creature uh, things. So I'm going to take the Emrakul. I don't think it's the best Emrakul. But it is our Emrakul, you know? You know what I'm saying? Draga Tree Speaker. Oh, yeah. So they did They, they did kind of give us a Soul Ring, right? We just kind of we, we kind of have the Soul Ring. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You guys doing stipulations and donations is wild. <clears throat> All right, hold on. I have to open a separate thing now just to read this. Oh, what up, Cheese Wisp? <coughs> Cabalin, <clears throat> confident in your confidant. A masochist draft. Must pick Dark Confidant over all of those picks and build around it. Preferably Black Red Agro. All cards that hurt yourself. Okay, so the only problem with this is that I have to actually open Dark Confidant, right? So as long as you're okay with, like, that, you know, if I open a Dark Confidant, I'll definitely take it. I think I'll, I think we can do this within, like, the first three picks, right? I feel like that's fair. That's a fair, uh... Start with any other stip and you'll open Dark Confidant. I know where you're, I know what you're doing here. It's either Ugin or Questing Beast. I mean, turn two Ugin. It seems pretty good. I'm just taking the Ugin. I'm also cutting Terastodon for now. For now. Regrowth is probably just fine. <coughs> oh, Noble Hierarch is nice. I will Noble Hierarch. All day. I listen to the podcast and I love that, the, uh, that the, the record there has a reading and laugh from something I said in the chat. What was it? What was it, Markle? Hermit's good. Primal Command's <coughs> alright, I guess. <coughs> Might as well take Copper Line Gorge in case we find something that we want to want to splash <clears throat> <clears throat> well this is this is a fun scratchy throws <clears throat> wow this is rough i don't even know what's going on right now i guess we'll take a den protector good gravy good gravy eh mutavolt what can you do? 
Too much Sunny D is right. <laughs> My stimulus is being proper. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. That was funny. You're you're a funny guy, Mark. You know that? You're a funny guy. I'm literally just taking all the green cards. This this pack seemed weird for green. Like we got like it kind of dried up a little bit. This has got to be better than finale, right? Is finale any card, any creature? That's pretty good. Actually, maybe it's not. I don't actually know. All right. Looking for power. Looking for an OG Eldrazi. Looking for nothing that's in this pack. Solemn Simulacrum, I guess, is one of the best options. Maybe Acidic Slime. <coughs> What up, Josh? I was actually like, man, this new schedule is not conducive to seeing Josh in stream. I literally thought that. Because I was just streaming at, mostly at night. Uh, recently. I'm going to take I'm gonna take my Aura Elf. A lot of these picks are going to be pretty pretty autopilot, right? Like Arbor Elf. Okay, cool. <laughs> now we're... Uh... Yeah, Finale's Graveyard 2, which is definitely nice. This, is, this guy's pretty good on turn 2, I think. I think this guy's definitely worth picking up. Yeah, it's I mean it's just better than Emrakul, I think. <clears throat> oh, I like this I like this Vivian. This is a nice this is a sweet Vivian. Yeah, we can play turn two Ulamog and, and Ugin and, and go to go to two. That's pretty wild. Let's take five mana Vivian. I don't think we want both of these. This does let us play like a turn two Arbor Elf or Draga Tree Speaker or something if we need it. <clears throat> I think it's just I think it is just better. It also reshuffles. I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably probably good. Sub is a sub is a sailor. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, if it's, if it isn't Mac oh Maclo B. <coughs> a sub is a sub is a scrober. Michael B's downstairs working. Working for the man. Every night and day. Michael left a good job in the city. Working for a man every night and day. Oh, we're doing it. That's fucking banging. So we got literally everything. We got Crater Hoof, Channel, Natural Order. What if this Progenitus comes back? Rafello. So we got Rafello's Guy's Cradle, Natural Order. Uh, and channel, right? Those are like the four, the four big greenums, right? Oh my god! <coughs> Left a good job in the city. Oh, Oracle of Moldiah now? Oh, for fudge sake. I mean, we're actually... We need a couple more playables. We could just throw, like, any any amount of these in the deck, I'm sure. I guess it's just eh, actually Gruul Signet seems fine here. We also have a Copper Line Gorge in case some some really dank ass red card comes by. Let's take Skull Clamp. A 
left Michael B in the city. Cut Emrakul? We only have 20 cards. We literally need three more playables. <laughs> we're, we're not at the cutting point yet. Oh, boy. Working for me. What up, Midnight Meat? It's good to see you guys. I feel like it's been a while. But I never lost a minute of sleeping. Worrying about the way things might have been. Oh, Tiger also fixes. Gosh, that's a lot of it. I think it's just scavenging is. Scavenging is actually a player here. Eh, Fauna Shaman's okay. <laughs> I'm really, I'm actually kind of hoping that Progenitus comes back. I guess we didn't get Tooth and Nail. Oh, search for tomorrow? You got it. Sure. Harmonize is good, too. <laughs> Do we have no three drops? That's pretty wild. <coughs> Alright, we're on 23. The 24th card will be the Progenitus. You guys ready? Oh, that's unfortunate. Someone later took Progenitus? Dang. Who the hell who, who the hell's taking Progenitus? Who's taking it? I think we probably just want <clears throat> Terrastan on the main deck. Do we want a fourth eight drop? I don't know. Super growth could be good. We're definitely playing uh sixteen lands. We have four here, and then Tribe Elder, Sylvan Carriad, and Rafellos, and Search Tomorrow. We have literally five one drops that I'll get mana. I kinda like regrowth too. I think the, the card quality in our deck is high enough. I also think Regrowth is just better than than Den Protector. Like, this costs 5 mana to get something back, and then you can usually kill it. Hermit seems fine, but, like, we don't have any way to really exploit the tokens. Other than, like, Crater Hoof. Actually, Finale might be better with Greens. With, uh, and also, it, it can get, like, Gulamog. Did they get haste? Yeah, alright. I, I can see that because of because of channel for sure. <clears throat> clamp and hoof? What do those have to do with each other? I do like clamp. We already have harmonized though. <laughs> he said. Strangely. Clamp is pretty good. I do kind of like Clamp. Do we need the Emrakul? Maybe we don't actually need the Emrakul. <clears throat> we have Ugin and, and, and Ulamog. Um, yeah, I'll bring in Hermit. I could see that. I'm good with this. Alright. 16 lands. 15 of which will be these. And a Cradle. Alright. This is solid. I don't think we want another 8 drop, though. Like, that's why I do. Like, we, we cut the Emrakul because we already have Crater Hoof, Woodfall, and Ugin. Yeah, 
Um, I'll keep it. If we can draw a channel here, then we ball him. Move in this trash can. That's Michael B's home. Oh no. <clears throat> All right. Well, they went to six, so I feel like we already won. Six and a brainstorm. Main board it back. What's a main board? What the fuck is that? What are you people saying? You just make up any kind of words you want? What's a board? What are, what are you even saying right now? What's happening right now? You guys got to be careful about the main Borg. They'll assimilate you. You know what's up. Big wheel, keep on turning. Channel next turn would be great. We can go plow under and Ugin. <clears throat> That's pretty banging. Super Fritz, I will see you later, my friend. I have little doubt that you will log in from your telephone. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Okay, well, that's fascinating. <laughs> Lift a good job in the city. Oh, no blocks. Okie dokie. Eat this dude. I guess we can wait on the lightning bolt. I mean, we're just going to do that, though. Like, I don't want them to snap cast lightning bolt in response. But we have two mana, so if they did that, we could just eat in response. No blocker, he knows. Fifteen lands instead. Eh. Eh. It's a little too. It's a little too. I don't know. It's 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 definitely. I mean, you could do it for sure. I just don't know if I feel comfortable doing it. <clears throat> Cause you're left in the dust Burn up my fire Mike, I used your method and won $200 playing poker. God, you guys are just... God, you guys are all in gambler's clutches. Let's get these cards out of here. Come on. Oh, another five drop. How nice. How nice. Just going to pass here. I don't think we're going to get two free attacks in. What do you mean by my method? <laughs> oh. Fascinating. Well, that's pretty good. Jesus. Well, if we survive, it could be good for us. If we top like a channel, it could be really good for us. We could do that thing. Yeah.
Oh, would you look at that? <coughs> Alright, now we can F6. We have nothing else to do here. Well, we can't natural order here. Yep. So we go to 12. Oh, they didn't attack? Oh, that's fascinating, but we didn't do anything here. So that's pretty that's pretty unfortunate. I guess we just go carry out a Sakura Tri Builder. Well, that was a sad way to waste that turn. <coughs> Are they attacking this time? Oh wow. It was aggressive. And I guess we just hope you don't have any counter spells. <clears throat> hope you play something stupid this turn. I just hope you activate Urza. And then Okay, they didn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Were my lands again? I forgot. I forgot what my lands were. We're going to try to hit channel here. We did not. <whistles> Alright. You're going to kill that? Sure. Do they just deal both to that? That's pretty good. <laughs> why Why would you do that on your turn and not my turn? That's weird. I don't think they know how, how Urza works. Unless they're literally just hoping to hit an instant. Which seems really narrow. You can't play lands, you can't play sorceries, you can't play artifacts. You can't play creatures. Sure. <coughs> Seven, eight. Hmm. I mean, they have to have counterspell, right? Like, we know they know we have this, so. You know. Just hard cast Force of Will, because you're a Force of Will kind of deck. Sure. Time Spiral in your random non-Time Spiral deck. Seems good. <clears throat> Sounds pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. <laughs> Still pretty rough. I mean, the last thing you want to face when you're playing the mono green deck is like the deck that has like fire and lightning bolt and things like that. Especially fire, specifically cards like fire or like arc trail, because then they can just kill two of your guys with one with one spell. <clears throat> and you know, also getting their mocks every single game is also pretty good. So you know. Yep, and then you have nothing to do because that's cool. Yep. No blocks. In the middle of our street, no blocks. 
Got him. So this is where they have fire, and they're just gonna fire both these guys. And it's pretty. It's gonna. Be, it's gonna be absolutely disgusting. Or they don't have it, and they're gonna top deck it. Yeah, because there's no way you don't do it there. So, my guess is top deck that fire. It's true. I have been probing a lot this game, more than I'd like to admit. <clears throat> Oh, nothing, huh? But you only have four mana. Huh. Well. Let's get busy sliming. Biogenic ooze given all of our all of our guys, this is a, this is a news. I'll block. Oh, your deck's not doing anything anymore? That's wild. Well, if you couldn't counter something last turn. Okay. <laughs> I just concede. All right. Seems good. This is how you do it. <clears throat> this is how you do it. I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's not how you do it. Well, they didn't say they were a big fan, so. I will keep this. Because this is like a turn three plow under. And they went to five cards, so that's got to be good for us, right? Unless they're mulling into, like, Mox Ancestral Recall, in which case, that's worse. Because eh. <coughs> you're left in the dust. Probed us? Sure, my dude. Sure. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate you. Somebody touch my spaghetti. How about this guy? How about this guy? They're like, no, that's a bridge too far. I'll daze him. You didn't daze him. I mean, they know it's coming. They have to have, like, red mana fire, which is, like, really my... Okay, they don't have red mana. Trigger mage? Ooh, now they got a red mana. <clears throat> Does that do it? I don't know. Yep. Seems good. It's basically like a Civic Wayfinder that lets you play a second land. Sure. Real original, but... <clears throat> doesn't change my plans. Natural or Acidic Slime? Ooh! Oh, we gotta do it this way. One, two, three, four. Untap you. <clears throat> this gets rid of two lands, so it's kind of better. Next turn we can slime their red source. Yeah, we know they have one more island on the tippity top. <laughs> Vendillion click, huh? Oh. Sure. Kind of interesting that she didn't fire, but I guess that now I guess that makes sense. I mean, we have like six man on board, so thank you. Let's get in there. Okay. Well, land a werewolf on the top is not ideal. Unseen Spectre, 39 months, man. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. <laughs> sure. It's annoying. 
man, considering the, the lead we had and the fact that we haven't drawn anything but lands and, like, mana creatures is just really frustrating. Cool. Really? Well, you have a braid, so that's pretty good. Let's not do that. All right, something big. Sweet. <coughs> Seems good. Okay, so your hand is literally a braid and you're drawing Frost Titan. Got it. <coughs> So we can play this. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Ooze. Kill it immediately. <clears throat> sure. I mean, Frost Titan's annoying, but... Should be fine. And glory bringer. All right, we're hoping for something good with our ten. I mean, even crater hoof seems great here, right? It'd be plus five, plus five to everything. We can even channel so that we can actually attack with this guy, which would probably be good. Yep, you got it. Crater hoof. This is amazing. This is actually incredible. We got like turn three plow under, turn four acidic slime. And because they stole our Oracle of Moldiah, we just can't actually do anything. Yep. Kind of annoying. <clears throat> and they have no cards in hand, so like we're literally in top deck mode because they can kick burst lightning or they can just cast it, so. Yep. Sure. And we're at four, so channel is... Fuck this game, dude. <laughs> That's actual fucking bullshit. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. Congratulations on 17 runners in a row while I just draw lands. Super cool. Yeah, that was really frustrating. So welcome to the Vintage Cube. 16 lands and we just can't draw we can't just not draw lands it's unreal meanwhile we have skull clamp harmonize woodfall primus ugin yeah i just don't feel like going to 15 lands because i just don't think that one situation like we shouldn't draw that many lands in a, in a 17 land deck right like that's just not the point just because you're like this is results oriented thinking and that's why i don't like really humoring it because it's not like well one game you know we didn't get to we didn't we just drew a bunch of lands so that that means like our deck should have a lower land count it doesn't mean that that's not what it means it just means that game we drew a shit ton of lands <clears throat> bober the scrober also if you remember in game one like we just they time spiraled and we didn't hit a single land so it's like it works either way You did say it before the match started, but then you said 15 lands with four question marks as if, like, because look what's happening when we have 16 lands, which is just not the case. Like, should you add more lands to decrease the chance of the shuffle of will not give you land? Probably. Okay, well, Rafelos gets to at least resolve, and he has one less thing to contend with. Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and like I said, in game one, <clears throat> they time spiraled us, and we just didn't hit a single land off the time spiral, so it's like, well, okay. That doesn't mean we should play 18 lands. 
Let's just split the difference and go to 15. Hey, tell you what, if I can get a soul ring, I will take a land out and play a soul ring. Oh, God. I'm so exhausted with them always having it. <laughs> like, I'm emotionally drained from the bullshit, whereas, like, my hand is literally, like, channel and nothing to do with the channel. <clears throat> so, what are you going to do? You got it. <clears throat> I will take dose. <clears throat> well, now they have cryptic command mana up. And uh, I don't really feel like channeling into a woodfall primus here. That seems pretty terrible. So I guess uh, this is our life now. <laughs> oh, here comes Unbarrel Rights Gifts Ungiven. Or Unbarrel Rights uh, like a Leshnorn or Gristlebrand. Yep, fucking Gris. Oh, it's actually just two, just two creatures. Okay, so I guess you have the Unbarrel Rights in hand. You're going to play land, Unbarrel Rights 1, and then you got a nice little security measure for the next one. Necromancy. Seems good. Seems fantastic. Well, now we're probably going to play Woodfall Primus because. Good lord. I mean, Nugan would be great. Acidic Slime would be sweet. Uh huh. <laughs> actually oh well they're just gonna kill it aren't they so that's that's cool exhum is actually fantastic with uh it doesn't matter it doesn't do anything in our graveyard we're not gonna finale of devastation and so well that's pretty cool yep that that would have been great that would have been really nice like <clears throat> i don't know last turn i guess but so now we take 7 12 14 that we can't deal with yep let's just go to the next game these have been fun games when we get the nuts green deck this has been great. Can you guys tell it has not been great? Is that is that evident? I can't actually tell. Baron Von Vaderham, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. Hold on, blow my nose real quick. Don't look. All right, we're back. This deck does need a pep talk. You ain't kidding. You want to channel into Woodfall, destroy it? Yeah, because, like... <clears throat> you know, honestly, I don't actually... Honestly, this is exactly what is wrong with the fully powered cubes. It's fun to play the extremely broken decks, but it's just unfun to lose without getting... Yeah, I agree with you, but, like, usually it's... it's like it's both like both sides are having that you know like usually like next game i'll do that i'll be like turn two Rafellos, turn three you know plow under plus something else you know so i mean it's like usually there's a decent amount of back and forth like in in terms of like winning a game losing a game winning a game etc 
but uh, <clears throat> extra, extra, greatest green deck of all time sucks. God damn, newsboy. That's brutal. Why would you do me like that? You guys remember Paperboy? <clears throat> and I'm not talking about the uh, the artist from the hit FX TV show Atlanta. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the this is the hand. <laughs> I don't think you could make a new Paperboy because no one would know what the fuck a Paperboy is. Like, not only do people not get newspapers, but, like, no one would be like, this dude rode around on his bike and just threw papers at people's houses. Like, that's just not a thing. Oh, yeah, you could break windows and stuff, too? That was wild. What a time to be alive. I mean, the problem is if they have Entomb, it's really bad for us. Right? They just get to go, okay, so let's just play. Let's just go scavenging use now to be safe. Um, Because if they go Entomb, reanimate like Ashen Rider, they just kill our Ugin. We get no value out of it. So. <clears throat> oh, what up, Tin Man? I'm not talking about it, and I don't want to change your life. <clears throat> Yo, what up, my dude? I can channel? Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yo, what up? I got this, Eugene. I'm gonna shoot him. <clears throat> I, I don't know if they can deal us like two points here. So I'm, I'm actually tempted to finale for like Woodfall Primus. I actually might just play Sylvan Carry at it and keep up uh, a mana for like Scavenging Use. Because I think that's probably good enough. I don't actually want to take down Scavenging Ooze mana. So, I'm just going to do this. And I feel like having an Ugin on board is pretty good. Oh, you just don't have to, Just don't attack. Don't even worry about attacking. Oh, we just won the game. See, so this is what happens. Like, this is what I mean. Like, it's usually a back and forth. Like, usually I do get to do some cool stuff, right? So, I don't mind my opponents doing cool stuff as well. But, like... If it's literally one-sided for, like, four drafts in a row, I'm just like, then it gets a little tedious, and you're just like, okay, well, this isn't really what, this isn't what we agreed to. I'll keep this hand too. This seems good. If if I could sacrifice a Mutavault to a natural order, I would 100% make that swap, but I, it's just not... I just don't care about Mutavault, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <clears throat> oh, they're just going to kill this immediately? You're not even going to let me invest mana into it? Oh, you did have the Entomb. How lucky. Yo. Oh, what up, Dev? I see you, bro. The problem with Ulamog on turn three is that you can't like you're not <clears throat> you're not casting him with finale. 
Like you're just putting him into putting him into play, you know. So This is actually a lot of mana. Not really like to see you tonight. Oh, it does have haste, I guess. That's a good point. That is a Oh, that's a Oh, yeah, we would have just won on the spot, wouldn't we? Because we also have scavenging use that's attacking, so. Okay, look, everybody's in the graveyard. All all the gang is here. So, yep. Gristly bristle. <clears throat> Exhume's a cool card because there's nothing attached to it, so now I just have to deal with it. So that's cool. And now they can animate dead like Ashen Reiner and kill our Draga Tree Speaker. Oh yeah, we're having a good time. And this is what, like, when it, whenever it dies? Oh, it's... Yeah, okay. So they have to just get sacrificed? That's cool. So we do lose another permanent? That's great. <sighs> it's just great. Just wonderful. That's really annoying. <coughs> yep. Yeah, actually, that's a good call, dude. I should have actually... I mean, they would have just killed it anyway, I think, but... <laughs> oh man you know what just fuck yourself dude just absolutely go fuck yourself cool these have been fun matches dude discard dues to what to the Una's Prowler <clears throat> these have been fun I've been having a really good time watching my opponents get their nut draws while I get lands and elves you know what see like you've worn me down I'm taking a land out you've worn me down for another fat daddy yeah they literally we've seen exhume animate dead necromancy uh i think that was it but i mean either way they've had like at least two out of three of them every single game so and ways to put things into the graveyard And, and, I mean, this hand is alright. <sighs> Would prefer a one drop. We're not even in channel territory here, unfortunately. Oh, look. <clears throat> now we get to see who can... Who's crater hoofing first, guys? Who's crater hoofing first? Fashion related to the party noble hierarch. We do have three oozes in our deck. That is pretty interesting. <clears throat> it's one, two, three, four, five mana. 
So I assume you're going to play a Civic Slime. Yep, that's even better. <laughs> Would have preferred any of the two things I said instead of that. Yeah. So now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, untap, 7, 8, sacrifice, 9, 10. You have 11 mana next turn on turn 4. Seems fucking amazing. Good lord, man. These matches have just been nightmarish. I really, I went in today and I was like, you know what? These, these are going to be better days. These are going to be better vintage cube days. And they were worse. <clears throat> Tried playing some Snare last night. It was Endless, Teferi, Nissa, ECD, and Ugins. What's ECD? Um, I'm trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> okay. Just fucking done. Like, <laughs> Oh, Lord. We have multiple broken cards in our deck, like Natural Order and Rafelos and Channel, but we don't get to draw them, so... Oh, Elspeth Conquers Death? Yeah, that card's... <sighs> something. I mean, this is actually just kind of what happens sometimes. Like, it's really weird. Sometimes I'll play Vintage Cube and I'll just be like, I'll just go nuts. And sometimes it'll be like this where I, like, can't get a win to save my life. And it's super weird. <clears throat> Let's go Arbor Elf, because next time we can just cast Search and Clamp. I mean, the only, like, saving grace against this green deck is that, like, um, I know most of my creatures are going to be safe, my creatures and lands, so. Alright, if we hit a land, we can play Vivian. If we don't, we can play Rafelos. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <coughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a Rafelos anyway. Uh, let's give Trample. So we got one, two, three, four, five. They have six mana next turn. I'm gonna use five of it. Well, we're chump blocking this dude. <laughs> that's that's for sure. Well, this card's actually surprisingly hard to deal with. start with this guy oh interesting that's an interesting thing to have on the top of the library let's give trample again fellows and put this on here <clears throat> all right i think that's all we can do right we can untap make another make another manus
All right, fingers crossed. Guys, I just want to be good enough. I just want to be good enough. What are you doing? They gonna get questing beast number two? Oracle of Moldiah? Oh wow, that's you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Oh my boy. Have you died? Alright, <clears throat> so make a beast. Actually, what can we hit? We can actually search for something that costs like seven, say eight or less. Is it just me or does a fresh chart really change your mood? No, dude, that's definitely not you. <laughs> that's like, that's a well-known thing, my friend. Michael acts like he just figured out that showers make you feel good. What are you saying, David? <clears throat> Did you see that VQ draft pile I had gone 3-0 with in Discord? No, I have not checked it yet. Alright, hold on. Let me figure out what's going on here. How much mana do we have? 4, 8, 9, 10. So we can play Crater Hoof and go get, like, a deranged hermit to make it just a million. Just make it an even million, right? Because this is going to trigger first. Put the hermit into play. Okay, they just conceded. They didn't even care. Uh, we didn't have 12 mana, though, as far as I can tell. We had 4, 8, 9, 10. So, oh, we can channel for it. You're right. You guys are fucking smart. Kadeen, I don't know if I got it either. How can one how can one say? How can one tell? Okay, this hand is this hand is cabalin, as the kids would say. Do the kids really say that? Maybe. Maybe they do. Oh! Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, that's real fascinating. I am real fascinated right now. Wait, what? Stop. Get out of here. Oh wow, we just get untapped with all of this. Oh Jesus. Oh good gravy. Okay, okay. So we can go one, two, three, four. We play Oracle, right? Why can't they save your credit card information instead of making you find every time? That I have no idea. I didn't even actually know they did that, to be honest with you. Um, so we can go Oracle, Cradle. Cradle's going to make three. This is four. We can carry added. That's got to be the correct play if there's lands on top, right? Oh. One. A two. So this is five mana now? So we can actually go one, two, Sylvan carry added. This will make four. Oh, we're just going to win the game. <laughs> Why are you counting your lands, stupid? You're just going to win the game. Well, one, two. And we lost our first two to pretty busted decks. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those likes and subscribe and check me out on twitch.tv slash rank for manatraders. Manatraders.com is an amazing subscription service. You get 20% off the first three months of any any subscription with a link and the promo code RATTRAIN down below. Check those out. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday. And freshly brewed. Just every week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.